so about me so uh, like uh, i have been with microsoft for 2 years now right and uh, currently working in azure storage so basically we are kind of dealing with everything related to storage and uh, yeah earlier to this i was uh, working with oracle right oracle cloud infrastructure and prior to that i was working with paypal as an sd2 so coming to today so use of chat gpt open ai to thrive as uh, like as a i will not quote microsoft sd but yeah as a normal software engineer and other stuff we can just incorporate ai right in daily lives now example is that like i have asked uh, open uh, like chat gpt that create uh, consider that a file exist in this file path write of write a piece of code that checks that if uh, the file exist at this point and delete the particular file right i am just doing a prompt and i am just using like my prompt engineering uh, basic things that i i think so the so chat gpt would just write a piece of code for me right so it this is written in go for our understanding right you can use it in any language you can do it in you can say that c sharp you can do it in c++ you can do it in java you can do it in any any part of it okay any anything that you want to do you can just do it okay so this what it is doing is that it has created a function for us it has created some piece of code for us that we can leverage or we can use right so we can use this this piece of code directly and solve our problem that we have asked what you want right now is that you want good prompt engineering skills if you are able to uh, like uh, you can say that ask good questions from ai the more good questions you ask right then only you can say that uh, then only you will be able to get the required answers and then you can improve it also so write this code in a simple manner right so i have just given this as a suggestion that yeah so if i want to write this code in a simple manner how i can just write it so this has written me a you can say this has written a, a, a you can say extension over my existing piece of code okay so here you can see that you can also it has also given some piece of comments to justify that what is doing what it's like ai is doing what what the ai generated code is doing in the back end right so these are the things that you can leverage right and if you want you can write a documentation on also if i want that like write a documentation upon this code also okay to understand that what is what uh, what we are trying to do okay so it will just so any person can understand this right any person any person coming from the outside the industry as as well as the person who is coming out of the team as well or any person like you can also understand that what this piece of code is doing so you can see that like deletes the record file as part of the log output command and just check it right so basically what the thing what are the basic things that are required see problem solving is one thing that yeah you require problem solving but you right now also require good prompt engineering skills right the ability to ask right and good questions right so these are the things that you should kind of focus on because see anybody now is in the position to write a piece of code right anybody can do it but writing the piece of code that is correct because you also have to check this you also have to kind of verify it and cross verify it and give some uh, test cases that are suitable to you <laughs> suitable for your uh, benefit right that what are the things that we are looking upon and what are the things that we are considering because you cannot just blindly copy paste the code you also have to verify it the more accurate it will be you can also improve it but the thing is that you will get a basic structure of the code that you can use you can use in the picture you can use uh, as it is or you can just tweak it somewhere according to you <coughs> right so these are the things that ai is kind of uh, like uh, developed for us or you can say that with the evolution of llms we are able to uh, you can say that uh, reach to the problem solution in a faster manner basically this artificial intelligence is uh, good but uh, you can say that there have been debates where top tech leaders have said that yeah artificial intelligence is good but it cannot beat human intelligence human intelligence still guides ai right now so people are also in kind of fear that yeah so now everybody can code anybody can get a job like right but um, you can say that ai will replace multiple jobs that is not the truth right we should be more competent 
right if we get fearful about the fact then then these things will dominate over us the thing is that we should be able to adapt to these changes in a very quick manner and we should be able to leverage these changes in our uh, in the purpose of our benefit right we should derive benefit from these things right you can see that how easy is it has become to code how easy it has become to write comments how easy it has become to write test cases right if i can just say write test cases for this function right you know that like writing test cases in itself is a like a very trivial task right so these things improve your reliability of the code these things improve your uh, you can say effectiveness readability as well as like uh, scale. it will it will benefit you only but the thing is <coughs> but the thing is that this should be taken in a positive manner this should not be taken in a negative manner that yeah uh, 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 yes it is doing the work or not but the thing is that if this piece of code is generated but the th fact always applies that you also have to verify this you also have to see the back end or the background that yeah this is important this will be helping us to solve the problems that are there right so these things will directly come into your picture these things will always come into your picture right so how you can just uh, leverage ai how you can just leverage uh, with the newer versions of ai right now chat gpt4 and other uh, you, you can say that other versions would be coming so you can also see that you can derive important aspects or important insights from images from the raw other text uh, other data points as well videos analytics would be more uh, you can say that faster for you so these things uh, would be also available you can provide an input image you can provide some uh, you can say input input image and then you can play around with that you can extract information right so open cv will be newer the like open cv is a concept of ai and ml where you can just uh, in uh, you can just play around and insert artificial intelligence in the media related uh, players but the thing is that with the newer versions these are the <clears throat> features that will be coming so the thing is that very exciting future is planned for us right so we should be in a position where we should be kind of leveraging it we should be kind of using it for our benefit we should be kind of uh, kind of going in a manner that yeah so uh, everything is existing we are getting the intelligence that we require but the thing is that we need to leverage it we need to kind of go inside see these things need verification by us you cannot directly use it right you need to verify cross verify still you need to see that whether this function whether this generated test case will solve the problem or not will it work sometimes i have also observed that open is not able to uh, like write a yeah, correct piece of code right it improvements are being play, carried on in the background but yeah and also with devon if you just uh, remember that that company uh, kind of uh, uh, went on they, the the claims that they made were are for so it's like in an evolution phase right now right but the uh, future as i see it is not very far that uh, you can see that code uh, writing code will become very easy it has also already become very easy but with with newer kind of uh, uh, integration that is coming to our picture it will become more easy for example let's see some piece of code so you can get insights from the thing is okay you can also get insights that yeah so in english only you can just see that what are the things of this piece of functional first programming language on dotnet pro platform it describes how anonymous types and objects with specific characteristics can be created right so i am getting aware that yeah this is kind of what this type name reference uh, this uh, like uh, says what is this piece of code doing you can get insights like a second in a second you can just get insights so you can solve problems that are unknown to you by this okay so not knowing the language not knowing the syntax is now bridged you can just bridge it you just have to ask chat gpt or any of the ai tool that you are working upon intelligent questions that yes these are the things that i need right how you can just uh, how you can just uh, like kind of do that this would be kind of uh, easy for me 
okay you can ask questions from anything you can ask questions from programming you can ask questions from either version controlling like this i have also done i have also asked uh, like questions right how to revert last commit let's say that right so these are the things that you can just ask we earlier we used to ask uh, stack overflow <laughs> but i see i see that like now uh, these questions are directly asked to chat gpt right so chat gpt is kind of effective in that manner that it will give you the answer in a, in a second or in in um, less time right so that we are able to kind of uh, get to the get to what whatever whatever is the required amount right so uh, i cannot uh, say that what are the direct advantages but the thing is that now with the newer versions of chat gpt and with the newer uh, modifications that are being done to the existing layers now you will see that you can play around with images you can play around with videos you can translate the videos you can translate text right let's say that if you are uh, going somewhere you get an invoice in a language that is not known to you not chat gpt would be doing that right let's say you are visiting a country you are you get an invoice you want to check and cross verify what is what is the what is the language that they are using and what are the things that they are so you can just insert it over chat gpt and you can just see that what are the insights this would be available in the free version of chat gpt right so future is exciting but we should be in a position that you should kind of leverage ai for your growth okay you, you should be in a position where you should kind of leverage ai for your growth and your benefit